Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, these are the first clouds that I've seen in a couple of weeks. And while there's no moisture in those, uh, which we still need desperately, there are signs that that may change in the next couple of days. It's not supposed to be much, but every drop counts. And like I've mentioned, uh, when there is zero rain, there's plenty of sunshine. So take a quick look at the systems today. Uh, this is that 48 volt system I'm running with this 51.2 volt, 90 amp hour power queen. This is that server rack style battery that I have since put up on end because it's more convenient like that, takes up less space and it's okay to be like that. And it's just barely noon here. Running the full size refrigerator, 89% full and charging. So that's fully, fully charged for all practical purposes. It won't drain down much. And here's a quick peek at the rest of the system. Running that Victron 15035, working well. 700 watts of solar coming in. That system's good. So the Power Queen continues to run good. A couple years in use now. Let's take a look at the app real quick on that 700 watts. There's only 170, 80 some watts coming in. The clouds aren't as fast moving as usual, but everything's looking good. Can show you you know, getting plenty, plenty of sunshine. I don't remember what happened this day. <laughs> I must have had it uh, turned off or something. I can't even remember. But anyway, it's just been nothing but sunshine, as you can see. Looking great. Oh, yes, that day I did uh, shut this down. I It came back to me. <laughs> so I did shut it down just to uh, let it try to get to more of a full charge that particular day. But anyway, no problems with this system whatsoever. I really like it in this position here. It takes up so much less space. If I had several of these, then I would stack them on top of each other. But uh, this works well. About the only thing I can think to do differently is I'll secure this handle to the wall. You know, I mean, it's pretty heavy and it's solid there, but if we got a really good size earthquake, which sometimes we have here, I wouldn't want that falling away from the wall. So I'm going to do that later today. Just cinch that up to the wall there with some good non-conductive material. And this system is much the same. It's very full. It'll definitely get to 100% full today. Just have a chest freezer running this uh, coming off of this system right now. Also running 24 seven, both the refrigerator and the freezer are running more because the ambient temperature right now is about 82 degrees. So, but even with that running, you know, we're fully charged already or well enough, but it'll still probably get to hundred percent today. Running loads, excess sunshine. And today, even with the clouds, everything's doing fine. And then back, on the main house system. Those of you that have been following the channel for a while know that I've got the chins back here, 600 amp hours worth. And you can see the light's not even on there. 100% full. Finishing off the absorption, 14.2. And on the lower string, only 31 watts now being allowed in off of a 500 watt string to finish off the absorption. The uh, upper string is basically the same. So here it is late in January where I usually have to jockey uh, my power around a little bit more, which is why I have some redundancy here in these systems because typically it's dark and rainy this time of year not happening so far yet this year and all systems are full 
by noon, which is crazy because the sun hasn't even been fully hitting the panel all that many hours, just a few hours now. So excess solar and that's looking good. Quick look at the past eight or nine days and you can see there on the graph full absorption and even into float most days. So, and that's running the rest of the house. So yeah, excess power, shortage of water. <laughs> it's one or the other, but we are supposed to see some rain in the next couple of days, so that'll be good. But uh, someone asked me the other day as well, and I've been asked this a few times, why do I do uh, two Victron 150 MPPTs? And the reason I do it is for a little redundancy. So I've got 500 watts uh, coming into each string and I wanted it that way. I know that these can be figured to run uh, that entire array, but I wanted a little redundancy. So I wanted, and I do plan on adding more panels eventually even to that uh, set of two strings. But for now I wanted the extra charge controller for uh, the redundancy of in case anything ever failed, I'm, I can still run everything with one. I just have to do a little bit of uh, reconfiguration. So that was the reason. And then I really do like having it like this. More to be added in time for sure. So I just wanted to check in with you guys and show you that you just never quite know what you're going to get. Every day is different. From year to year is different. Last year I was having to move uh, power around quite a bit. This year I'm not getting that kind of exercise. Everything's just humming along beautifully. Just need some water. Getting down to about a half a tank there. So uh, that's what we're in need of. And hopefully we'll see that change here in the next few days. Still got a little backup water. Trying for redundancy in that aspect of living off grid too. All in all a beautiful day, a little on the warm side for January, but everything's looking pretty good. I'll check in with you guys real soon, working on some reviews here. And now I gotta go back in the shade. All right, you guys, hope you've got good weather where you are, aloha. Pretty hot. Not complaining though. Just heading for the shade. Gonna take it easy this afternoon. It's pretty warm.